Last time I was in Lover's Lane was in St. Louis years ago. Just the three of us. The three of you? Yeah, me and the girl and the guy that mugged us. <laughs> I'll bet you were a real Romeo in your younger days, weren't you, Fred? Yeah. I wish I knew then what I know now. Wish I had now what I had then. <laughs> I do pretty good with what I got left. <laughs> You know, after that last fight, I couldn't get you out of my mind. Every time I looked at a piece of junk, I could see your face. <laughs> what does that mean? It means I was thinking about you, you know, I just couldn't get you out of my mind. <laughs> I understand. You know, actually, this is, uh, this is part of the business establishment. You see, the living quarters are upstairs. Yeah. You'll find a lot of people are doing that nowadays, combining their, uh, their professional business with their homes. It's, uh, very smart, tax-wise. <laughs> Dad and I are in the commodities game. I thought you were in the junk business. <laughs> well, you see, that's just a common name for it. Now, you know, in a trade, we refer to it as commodities. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. See, I'll I take you upstairs and show you the upstairs living quarters, but uh, Dad's up there asleep now, and we don't want to bother him. See, his room is done in Louis XIV, and mine is kind of sweet as modern. You know? Oh, this is more like it. Yeah, just you and me. <laughs> That's it, Donna. Now you crack the left side, not crack the right side. There you go. Now you're cracking. Uh, Donna, you have talented fingers. You could do a neck-cracking concert at Carnegie Hall. <laughs> Why are you so tense this morning, Fred? Didn't you sleep well? No. I watched the Late Late Show, and I had a nightmare and got this crick. Oh, why? What was on? Dracula. <laughs> Dean Bella Lugosi, he was circling all around my room, and I kept jerking my neck out the way. Ain't, ain't, ain't no mark there, is it? <laughs> you really had a nightmare, didn't you, Fred? Yeah. First thing that scared me, I thought he might try to nibble my neck. And second thing that scared me, I thought I might like it. <laughs> but I'm sure glad you came by, honey. Nothing's too good for my fiancé. Mm. Of course, that was just for medicinal purposes. Well, listen, can, can you uh, f refill that prescription on the lips? <laughs> Fred, it's only 8 o'clock in the morning. Well, the clock of love has no hands. <laughs> You're real romantic, aren't you? Yeah. See, my lips are rated X, but we over 18. <laughs> oh. Good morning, Lamont. Uh, good morning, son. Sorry for interrupting, but I didn't think you'd have company this early in the morning. Well, I asked Donna to come by because I had this crick. In your lips? Oh, <laughs> Well, here it is. I hope you like it. Yeah, it sure smells good. I sure appreciate you coming around to help me. Man, what a rump roast. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, you know, I haven't seen you since Joe had the accident at the foundry. <laughs> Let's see now. How long has that been? How long you been a widow? Been a long time. Nearly six months. <laughs> that must be kind of lonely. Have you thought about getting married again? Yeah, I've thought of it, but I'm kind of particular. Have you ever thought of remarrying? Yeah, I thought about it, but I'm kind of particular, too. You are? Yeah. <laughs> I guess we're just two particular people. That's nice. <laughs> hey, listen, you should have been coming around before. Well, I didn't know how your son would feel about it. I didn't want him to think I was trying to take the place of his mother. See, now, there's a difference. See, he can never have another mother. But I could have another mama. <laughs> Uh, well, what's your sign, Carol? I'm Aries, the ram. No kidding, I'm Sagittarius, the hunter. <laughs> oh, I better run from the hunter. Yeah, and I'll chase you back into the woods. 
Say, hey, Carol, would you like a cup of coffee? Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, the kitchen's right over here. Okay, but let me make the coffee. You are an Aries, aren't you? You like to do, 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 and I like it done, done, done. <laughs> Well, you certainly have been successful, haven't you, Fred? Yeah, I got me a nice little nest egg saved up. And when my nest egg hatches, I'll say just like the airline ads say, I'm Fred, fly me to Miami. <laughs> I know very few men wise enough to plan ahead like that. What's that? That must be Lamont. It must be lunchtime. I didn't know it was so late. Oh, good heavens. We've been talking for hours. I really have to be running. It's amazing how time flies when the conversation's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, like sand in the hourglass. So are the days of our life. <laughs> Fred, that's very poetic. Did you just make that up? Oh, no, that, that's the word that McDonald Carey lives by every day at 12.30, uh, 11.30 Central. <laughs> well, I want to thank you, Fred, for all your hospitality. Well, it's quite all right. Uh, oh, uh, Lamont, uh, this is Carol Davis. She sells household products. Hi. How do you do? Uh, excuse me, I'm going to fix myself a sandwich. Nice meeting you. Yes. Well, Fred, I really have to be getting back to work, and I want to thank you again for your hospitality. Hey, well, listen, uh, uh, why don't you come back tonight and then uh, have dinner, and we can talk some more. Are you sure? That'd be awfully nice. Well, I'm sure. Uh, seven-ish? Oh, perfect. <laughs> I usually uh, stop work about... Six-ish? <laughs> Me too. Give us time to freshen up. Right! Uh, I won't be too fresh. Oh, Fred, you are funny. Bye-bye. <laughs> Lamont, you've been at this a long time, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Uh, I've been going out with girls ever since I was eight. <laughs> oh, silly. I'm in the junk business. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we've been in the business a long time, even before I was born, but, uh... Hey, let's not talk about that now. Let's talk about us. You know, I can tell a lot about a man just seeing where he lives. Now, don't go jumping to no hasty judgments. <laughs> no, you know, the first time you came in the coffee shop and I waited on you, uh -huh. I could tell. You could? Sugar, I sure like the way you order. Very decisive, like you knew what you wanted. Yeah, uh, I wanted a fat burger. <laughs> and now I want you, you little onion ring. <laughs> conclusion that you were sweet keep going and sensitive keep going and masculine keep going and ready to settle down stop <laughs> now, what's the matter uh, mm, uh nothing it's just that uh i didn't know you could tell that much about somebody just ordering a fat burger oh sure you can't fool me lamont you know there are a lot of guys who are just out for a little fun you know right I'm out for a lot of fun. Lamont, uh, I've had a lot of fun. But sometimes a girl has to think about her future. Don't you ever think about getting married? Oh, yeah, all the time. Uh, cause I ain't getting any younger, you know. It's just that, uh, marriage is impossible. Why, what's stopping you? My father. Your father? Yeah, my father doesn't think there's any woman in the world good enough for his only son. Hey, but let's not talk about that now. Sit on down here. I sure would like to meet your father. Uh, well, I'm afraid that's impossible. See, he's in St. Louis, and ain't no telling when he'll be, you know, coming back. If he's in St. Louis, he can't stop us from getting married. <laughs> true, true, but uh, there's somebody else that can. Who? My godfather. Your what? My godfather, yeah. See, he's standing here with me while my pop's away, and he's a bigger tyrant than my pop. Why, if he knew that I was even thinking about getting married, he cut me out of his will, kicked me out of the house, and beat the hell out of me. <laughs> Freddie, your steady is ready. Fred, do you mean it? You really do? Yeah. Oh, Fred. <laughs> Let's save some until after the wedding. <laughs> well, 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 let's don't let's don't wait. Uh, let, let's set the date right away. Uh, see, I ain't doing nothing this weekend. Uh, we get married uh, Sunday. Sunday? <laughs> Sunday? That's so soon. Why? Well, we've got so much to do. We we have to find a church and, and send out the wedding invitations and, and get our blood test. We don't have to worry about that. We can get married at the house 
and just you and me and Reverend Trimble, and all I have to worry about is having enough blood for the blood test. Uh, what about Lamont? You think he'll have any objections? I'll overrule any objection he might have, and I have five good reasons. One, two, three, four, five. Time. Alice, now we'll go get started. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you want me to help you with anything, you know, show you where everything is? No, we'll find it. You go finish dressing. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I had a nice time last night, did you? Mm -hmm. At first, I couldn't get to sleep because I had this real warm feeling around my heart, you know? You think it was the burritos? <laughs> No, I know what it was, and I, I want to talk to you about it a little later, but right now I gotta go change. Okay. okay. I'll go help Mother fix dinner. All right. Oh, uh, Alice. How about a little sugar for the first course? Oh, no. 